Calling all science students, they have a chance to win a gift card by just snapping a picture. The University of North Florida's Department of Physics is now accepting photo submissions for its physics photo contest. The photos behind me show some of last year's submissions. They're pretty impressive, right? So Dr. Jason Haroldson is joining us now live from UNF to explain how to enter and also to demonstrate examples of physics in nature, which is the focus of the contest. Good morning, Doc. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So you have two physics demonstrations to show us then this morning. Both are Halloween themed as we see. The first is called the puking mm -hmm. pumpkins. How does it work? The puking pumpkin. Well, the puking pumpkin is basically a variation on the old volcano that most kids would do in, as a, a science fair project. And so all we're doing is we're basically adding vinegar to baking soda, but we're putting a little bit of a twist in there by having it in a pumpkin. And so what I can do here is, here I've got my vinegar. I've actually used a little bit of a, a, a food coloring to give it a little bit of a more color to it. And when you add it in there, oh, there we go. Our poor pumpkin's not feeling so good. <laughs> I love it. You have actually a couple and of so, different colors. So this would be a fun thing to do, you know, for families at home, maybe as a Halloween party. Exactly. So you can add different colors to it. You can definitely get holiday colors and all that and do it. And it, it, it's just a fun activity for the kids and to have Dr. fun. And Dr. Haroldson, what, what, what physics is in, is in play here with that? So what's going on is, you know, basically vinegar and uh, vinegar is an acid and uh, baking soda is a base. And so when you mix them together, they'll react and what they do is they release carbon dioxide. Now this is, this is a, what we call an en endothermic reaction. What that means is that the energy is being taken into the reaction. So it actually ends up a little colder than it, than it normally, than it would. Like an exothermic reaction releases heat. An endothermic takes in heat. And so from physics standpoint, we care about where energy is going. So when we're doing this type of reaction, we're looking at energy going in. And when that does that, that releases the CO2 and that CO2 goes out, mixes with a little bit of, uh, we put some dishwasher uh, soap in there and basically allow it to mix in and create some bubbles. So therefore Very we cool, can get see the reaction that, that we have. At a young age. Okay, the next one is called vacuum peeps. Well, basically this is uh, what we call haunted peeps. And so here I have my chamber of haunted peeps. I've captured them. And so what I'm gonna do is just like the Ghostbusters would, I'm going to turn on my vacuum, and when, they, when the vacuum goes on, I'm going to create a vacuum, and when I turn the vacuum on, you're going to see some weird stuff happening with, with my, my poor little uh, peeps here. They're growing. Oh boy. So what we see is we see them expand. And what's really happening is you're sucking the air out of there. And peeps are marshmallows, which means that they have a lot of air in them. And so what happens when you put, when you put it in a vacuum is the air inside the peep wants to get out. So it pushes on the peep to get it out of the peep. <laughs> and then what happens is if you, once, once you've sucked it out, if you, it just if you take again. off the vacuum, <laughs> Then the, now, now the peeps actually have lost all the air the in there. the contest itself, who can participate and that these have to be original photos? Yes, yes. So these have to be original photos. Any, uh, any student in the greater Jacksonville area, so Duval County, St. John's County, surrounding counties, um, any student, meaning college, high school, uh, mil uh, middle school, even elementary school kids, any student can submit a photo. And basically all you have to do is just take a photo. So as you did say, the, the puking pumpkin, you can take a photo of that. If you have one of a beautiful rainbow that you've taken or a, a reflection, it is a photo contest, so therefore aesthetics do play a role and it wants to be a nice photo. But, you know, what we really want to know is what physics did you capture? Because physics is everywhere. And this is one thing that, that uh, the physics department here at UNF does, does a lot of trying to outreach to people and show them that the physics is everywhere. And we want to know what physics did you capture? And so with a rainbow, you might have caught reflection of light. With this, you would have caught the CO2 being released from the vinegar and the baking soda. 
if you had taken a picture of the peeps as they were evacuating out, you can describe that physics that's going on inside of there. Well, Dr. And so Thank if they can take an original photo, Yep. Yeah, the original photos you were pointing out, that's important. You can't just take something off the Internet. Doctor, thank you so much for the information and for the demonstration. It was great. And, and I want to give the rest of the contest rules to our viewers as well. So for a complete list, you can of the photo criteria and also view previous year's winners, which might give you some ideas. By the way, you can go to the Physics Photo Contest website uh, by going to UNF. Again, submissions are due. And we didn't mention this, so it's important that you know on Friday, October 22nd, the contest is for students of all ages, as you heard the doctor mention, through college. And you need to email your photo to Dr. Haroldson. It's j.t.haroldson at unf.edu. The winners will be announced in mid-November, mid so it's important that you make that October 22nd submission. You can win gift cards, first, second, and third place the most being $50, and it works its way down from there. But all of the information you can find by going to unf.edu physics.